Welcome to Oregon Voters Digest, the program that brings forward the social and political issues that are important to people living here in the Pacific Northwest. And now, your host, Bruce Broussard. Welcome again to this segment of the Oregon Voters Digest. I'm Bruce Broussard, your host. And I think we're going to have quite an exciting show today. We've got Steve Buell here, one of the directors of Portland Public School, the largest school district in the state of Oregon. And, uh, and then tag along with that, we're going to probably respond to this, this whole issue of uh, Planned Parenthood. And that will be the second segment of the show. Uh, what we're going to do, uh, maybe the first minute, we're going to take a moment of silence for those four Marines who were four Marines and one sailor that was, uh, that was viciously uh, killed and shot. By, by this uh, activist, uh, I mean, I'm just, well, anyway, I'm a little, a little disappointed about this piece. We're going to take one minute and just kind of take a moment of silence just to acknowledge them. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, like I said, what we're going to do, we're going to get, we, we have the opportunity to, um, to, to, <laughs> to be interviewing in our present Steve Buell, who is the director of Portland Public Schools. He's on the board. Uh, you've seen Steve here on several different occasions. Uh, he, at one point in time, was, um, was on the board, Portland Public Schools, years back. He's taught schools. I mean, he's got all the background and whatever, and as you note, that he was very, 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 uh, i.e., uh, sensitive and concerned and 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 what and the like. He's now again, like I said, he's serving on the board and very concerned about kids and he's sort of concerned about uh, graduation and I mean just on and on and on. I can go on for days, but I think we will start, Steve. Welcome, Steve. How you doing, buddy? Nice to be here. Okay, what we, the way we will start this is that in the Tribune, in the latest Tribune of the here in the Portland, in the Portland Tribune, there was an article, a front page article. And uh, the way it was laid out was that what's fair, salaries in the crosshairs. I'll just read this couple of things. New committee promises to analyze administrative pay. It says, as, and this was by Shasta Kearns Moore, that's the, of the Tribune. As the new Portland Public Schools board members take their seats, there is one question they know they must answer to the public's satisfaction. What are fair salaries for the district's administrators? We're going to just, I'm just going to pose that question to Steve. I want him just to go on into this stuff. And then there's some other issues we're going to probably get into. But I want to just start off with that, if you don't mind, Steve. No. Okay. Maybe give a little background on that whole piece because you were part and parcel of that process. And, and then where are we today? Well, the what kind of got all this going was a 28% increase that they gave to the superintendent. And I say they because I didn't vote for it. Okay. Which uh, that Carol? superintendent of schools, Carol Smith, okay. they gave her 28% increase several months back mm -hmm. and and that upset a lot of people and so the that kind of brought up the question of administrative salaries and then they came forward with administrative salaries in a but really didn't tell anybody what they were mm -hmm. and they just went ahead and did it without telling like I didn't know they were going to increase the salaries neither did Tom Curler uh, neither did uh, uh, another board member mm -hmm. and, and uh, so they just kind of went ahead and did it hmm. and they didn't even and they didn't even know the the people who did it on the school board who I'd been fighting for the last couple of years right. which right. we've been on here and talked about yes. that many times they they didn't know even how much the salaries were increasing how, you don't mind, how so, much was it if you don't mind how much was well, it before well who knows now? a little bit i mean ah, it's around yes exactly the number it's but around 8% as it turned out this last time, the last mm -hmm. increase, but before they went up to 12 and 15 percent and so forth, which are pretty good increases for administrators, considering that the teachers had a 2.3 percent mm -hmm. increase. There, there's a lot of things that go into play, though, with that. For instance, there are, there are what they call steps. So you get an automatic amount of money just if you're there longer. Teachers, if you're up to a certain number of years, you get steps, step mm -hmm. increases, plus then a percentage increase. And they do the same thing with some administrators, but some they don't. And some there's a, a 
wide, like 30,000 or 40,000 mm -hmm. difference between mm -hmm. what you might be making, mm -hmm. depending on, uh, depending on whatever, that's the problem, depending on what. And so the audit committee, which I was on at the time, okay. uh, and Pamela Knowles uh, was on the audit committee with me, and, and uh, so was Bobby Reagan. And so they were, Bobby Reagan wanted to do the audit right off the bat on the audit, the administrative salaries as the first audit. And the board wasn't happy with that. And so they voted that down basically. But the new board now, which came on board July 1st, uh, they want to audit the salaries. And so we, it looks to me like we're going to go forward and do the audit that they didn't want to do before. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's where we're at. So I think there will be an audit. There will and be we'll an take audit. a look and see. One of the big arguments that comes into play here is how much money does uh, administrator in Beaverton make? Mm -hmm. How much mm -hmm. money does an administrator of a similar position in Portland mm -hmm. or Reynolds or, mm -hmm. or Gresham? But then how about really Portland being the biggest district, which you just mentioned, mm -hmm. then you've got the idea that, well, should we be compared to other districts around that are big ones in the country? And mm -hmm. then you have different amounts of money that mm -hmm. every, that, that you're, if you go to New York and try and rent an apartment, it's not mm -hmm. the same as right. Portland. Exactly. So how does that all break? Yeah. It becomes right. kind of confusing. Right. What it really comes down to, in my opinion, is two things before they do the audit. Mm -hmm. One, our principals were never were not really at the top salary mm -hmm. schedule they really weren't at the top they were kind of more down mm -hmm. uh, closer to Beaverton or they, but our central administrators were above everybody else around yeah so that so that's the question too here is this central administrative mm -hmm. audit mm -hmm. about 170 administrators or so that we have that aren't in schools mm -hmm. so how much are they making that's the question there okay. uh, and i think it's great that we're going i mean one of the things that we're supposed to do is be careful with the taxpayers money right right and right, so right. this is what we're doing it's not a it's not something where you're don't like the administrator. Right, right, so right, right, gonna, right, that's right. the way it was. Right, right, that's right. the way that the old board, if right. you want to call mm -hmm. them the old board, mm -hmm. uh, headed up by Pamela Knowles, who's still around, but she's not running the whole school system like she did the last two mm -hmm. years. And she's not the chair of that, she's that not committee. That she, she, she's, she's not. She's not, not, no, not. I noticed, no, I noticed no, the committee. They, no, do, no, they do a, break, a, a breakdown and, here, and, the and audit. And it's group. nothing against administrators. It's just that we should. We have a public. Right. The public just hundreds of millions of dollars, right, exactly. and Very we should important. spend it yes. well. And yes. one of the things that the public is concerned about is this type of thing. And the results. And the results. The results. So the we'll bottom see. line is all these yes. kids graduating. Yeah, well, yeah. And it's different than I mean, this. That's, that's the yeah, bottom that's line. Yes, I mean, sure, you know, sure, right. they're well, still actually asking for more money. But guess what? We got. We still got the issue of. I e. If you send your kid to a school and you're happy with the school, that's right. a good result. Right, right, right. That's that's <laughs> the result that, that I kind of try and focus on. If you feel like you can send your child to the school down the street, and it's a good school, and you're happy, and, and Johnny it's good Mary's teacher, graduating, and he's graduating, and he's learning to, to read, right, and right. and they're doing some things yes. that are engaging right, him in right. school, and exactly. he's and he's beginning exactly. to get curious about exactly. the world and, exactly. and the types of things that make for good education. Well, see, I, know we, I know we're having this discussion, but that's not happening. <laughs> so that well, is, it, it is <laughs> happening, happening in some places. The problem is it's not happening here. in all places. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so let, yeah, let's talk. Right. Back, back, before we go to that, I, I know that the change went. But I would, I would recommend very strongly that you get the latest issue of the Tribune. It, it, the article is there, and there's a lot of information in there, aspect of it. I'm just giving you a little excerpt. But uh, you pretty well know who the committees are. I mean, uh, you, you, you have an idea who these people are, the committees, and how they are laid out? Well, yeah, the, what, what we did at this, what, at this, we went back to the committee system. Right, okay. Tom Curler is the new chairperson. And how the board used to run was okay. they had co-chairs, and the co-chairs were... You, you elected the co-chairs, and then they kind of worked together. One of them was chairperson for six months, and the other was chairperson for the next six months. But basically what happened is you had two people, and they went in the back room and sat down with the superintendent, 
Carol and Smith. Is Carol Smith and sat down with the superintendent's top assistant and and then they would bring in if they're talking about uh, ESL, yeah, yeah. Talking, they would bring in the ESL person. They're talking mm -hmm. about finance, they bring in the finance. Mm -hmm. But they basically were making all those decisions someplace else. Then they would come out and they would give them to the board, which would Unbeknown really, to you, you just really didn't them. even want to discuss them. Wow. And, wow. and that went on for two years. And the, if you look at it carefully, Pamela Knowles was the co-chair or chairman for two straight years. Mm -hmm. So she's sitting in the back room and it's all going her, wow. her way. Well, the problem is I, I didn't agree with the political, a lot of the political things. There's a lot of things that we need to be doing that we weren't doing. And almost the main thing is that we weren't really focusing on what was taking place in the school. Because mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. where the kids happen to be. They're not down at the it's BESC, right, exactly. the administration exactly. building. Right. They're down in the school. Exactly. And so that's where we need to focus. And we needed to have the people who are in the administration building supporting what's going on in the school mm -hmm. instead of the reverse, which mm -hmm. is what we've had, mm -hmm. which is the school, there been, the administrators tell them to support what the administrators mm -hmm. want. We, we're going to do this, and we want you to support that mm -hmm. should be reverse we're going to do this for children mm -hmm. and then we're supporting them mm -hmm. and so that's and hopefully we're going to have that shift mm -hmm. we've mm -hmm. started out that way because we we went back to just a chairperson and if you're just the chairperson you can't amass as all this backroom right. stuff is right. easy you yeah. have to include and bring people mm -hmm. in which is tom curler mm -hmm. who's a chairperson is mm -hmm. good at mm -hmm. and the vice chairperson is just a person who substitutes in for the chairperson mm -hmm. when they're gone. It's not this little power mm -hmm. base mm -hmm. that's making the decisions. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully that will be good for the community yes, right. because one thing we'll be able to, I hopefully will listen better mm -hmm. than has happened past. And the second thing we did was we made committees and set up committees to do some of the discussion prior to gets, getting to the school board. Mm -hmm. The idea, the old idea was that you discussed it at the school board and you didn't, instead of the committees, and you had more meetings of the school board, which isn't a bad idea if you want to discuss it, but mm. you know as well as I yeah, do, yeah, the, yeah. the deal was hurry up, hurry yeah, up, yeah, hurry right, up, right, hurry right, up. Right, right. Don't really discuss this. Yeah. It's already pretty much decided before mm -hmm. it ever got exactly. to the school board. Yeah. They're making all their... Right checking it off to mm -hmm. make sure and the mm -hmm. discussion that's supposed to be taking mm -hmm. place in public mm -hmm. was never taking place in public mm -hmm. right. and and so this new system hopefully you you can go into a committee say i'm i'm the chairperson of the teaching and learning committee mm -hmm. and things will come up there and people can come in and discuss and talk back mm -hmm. and forth and mm -hmm. we can discuss it and come up with and and, and look into things and mm -hmm. investigate things and then come up with something to bring to the school board that's mm -hmm. the idea mm -hmm. we'll see there's goods and bad in I both got you. I got good you. and bad in both i noticed that um well we, we're not worried about bobby regan anymore she's gone right bobby regan she is gone she, she, yeah i i kind of liked her at the last couple three months she was kind of voting for all my stuff and, I, she, was and, and she was a nice person she's running she, for office and, and she and she, she needed you she, she needed did you, more she, needed she you, did Steve. more work she, than all the other six people you, put together so you I, said I, you, you hear what you said you said the last three months she's running for office about and then and then they've got then the pam knows here they should have got well anyway i won't go can't get rid of her because she's don't she's got another she's running two years she's on the same cycle that tom what area is she in my area she no, she's in, in the, the she's in the I'm in your area. Oh, I'm in your area. How much time do I need? How much time do I need to go? How much time do I need to go over there? Yeah, I, I, you can get over there tomorrow I, I, if you then, had a new. You just have to sell your house and go buy a new one over well, there. Right. Buy another one. You, you could run. Buy I'll, buy another I, one. I'd support you over there. Okay, Bruce. maybe I'll get Pam to support me. Yeah, she didn't want to yeah, be there anymore. You know what I'm saying? Sounds great. But I noticed that she's going to be a part of the charter committee. She's well, and the there's another that committee, committee that she's in there. Yeah, yeah, that the one. The charter committee just decides whether or not we have Yeah, I know it's going to get charter not that much. In. And she's in the school improvement bond committee. The bond committee, which bond is committee. a good, well, Pamela Knowles has some really good oh, skills. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know her and her husband. Skills. I know she her She has some good skills. Both of them and, do. And stuff. Very she, smart. Yeah, and, she, and that's a, she's good people. she'll be great on the bond well, she, committee. She's tough, both of them, both of them attorneys. Yeah. Her husband, both of her and her She's got good skills. It's just that she doesn't understand how the school board should be run. Yeah. in order to involve right. the average guy in the street right. Right. or the exactly. average woman exactly. on the street. Exactly. She, didn't, she hadn't got that yet. And Maybe you, she'll get it. Right. Now, let's get into some of the things that, are, you, let's see, bring us up to date in terms of you brought us that up that particular piece, the audit committee, that's going to happen. Now, where are we now? First off, what about the failure rate? I mean, can you talk a little bit about that? 
where are we right now today as compared to let's say a year ago today how did I have a graduation there wasn't much, there were, for the two years that i've been on the board so okay. far up to the they had the new board right. there wasn't much change in anything we were doing mm -hmm. the graduation rate did increase it did increase oh sure because one of the, we started to focus on the actual kids that are about ready to graduate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we want to make sure they graduate. So we want to follow through, and mm -hmm. that increase the graduation rate. Mm -hmm. But in order to really, it's not so much the graduation rate as our kids going through school and graduating. Right, right, right. And that sounds With the skills. same thing, but the difference is you can kind of jiggle the graduation mm -hmm. rate around by maybe fudging a little on their... Uh, they take uh, work samples mm -hmm. to graduate. They have to do a certain thing to graduate, mm -hmm. and they can take work samples and you can fudge them a little bit. And okay, this guy, you passed. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 right. We know you don't right. know English right. very right. well, right. but that's okay. But and so you can kind of move it a little bit that mm -hmm. way. And we also have started to focus better on the kids in high school who are struggling. We're getting people to sit down and talk to them more and help them work mm -hmm. through and work them through better than mm -hmm. we were. And that's had an impact. Mm -hmm. And that's, I think, that's where a lot of the graduation rate increase has become because mm -hmm. it has come up some. Mm -hmm. But what we don't have yet is the piece that engages them in school, particularly in those middle grades. Mm -hmm. So you start dropping out in the middle grades mm -hmm. and you're in the seventh grade and you hate school and, mm -hmm. and you're start running with a bad crowd and, mm -hmm. you're, and you're missing and da, da, da. and that's where you really start to drop out you don't it's not that it's something that happens when you're a senior right, 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 and, right, right. and we haven't pushed that as well as we need to yet it's like having a good foundation for your house right, 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 right. And if you have a bad foundation the house is right, going to be rickety right, right. and we don't we are not laying down as good a foundation right. as we need to lay down right. particularly in the middle grades and now rolling all the way back into the into the primary grades or well, you know we've it's talked not, about, it's not good right you know we've talked about this at length you know from the standpoint mm -hmm. outside of portland public school other district basically does that that flooring if you will that support through full care well, folk ed would be, would be that, helpful because it engages kids exactly, in school. Exactly. Yeah. You see what I'm and, saying? And we're struggling now with the Roosevelt situation. <laughs> Roosevelt's a Roosevelt, there's a... They, Roosevelt was one of the schools that were, modern, were modernizing. Okay, okay. You want okay. to look at All it right. that way. So Jefferson, Roosevelt. Right. And so in... Not, I said Jefferson, I'm sorry, I meant Franklin. Right. Franklin and Roosevelt. Franklin... But Franklin, we're spending more money there because we figured there are more kids there. Mm -hmm. And they also started with this big folk ed space. Mm -hmm. But at Roosevelt, they, they didn't set up the space when they designed it so that it's a big space and you can do a lot of things in it. They kind of cut it in half and you can't do as much stuff. And so the Roosevelt community, many members of it, are really upset about that. Say, how come... Roosevelt is kind of getting the shaft versus Franklin. Mm -hmm. It's a smaller space, smaller mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. That means less CTE, less okay. folk ed, if you want to use that mm -hmm. term. And, and so right now, but it, they're starting to build the school. Mm -hmm. So now we're up against a, a, a wall, kind of, mm -hmm. yeah. so to speak. We need, we're brand new on the school board. There's, there is people, there are people on the school board who want to change that and fix that. I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. We need to fix it. Okay. Uh, you're going to take a little bit of bond money. We need to fix it. But are you going to accommodate the vocate type deal? That's there? right. That's Better we than do. we're doing. Better than you're doing. A at Roosevelt. Right. That's what I'd like to do. But the question is, are we going to be able to do that? Will the board do it? Right now, it, we're kind of up against that. Should happen one way or the other the next meeting. Well, it's possible that we could take. They were going to tear down the, sh the auto shop. Mm -hmm. It's possible, evidently. I was talking to Tom Curler. He's working real carefully on okay. this. And he said, well, maybe we could keep the auto shop. There's 11,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. And we want to, you kind of have to move a wall a little bit. It can mm -hmm. be done. We have the money. Can we get them to do it? Will it slow things down? Da -da. I mean, there's all this, mm -hmm. there, there are all these issues. And the old school board wouldn't touch it. Hmm, interesting. No, they, uh, because, and, and I, I, we've talked about this, and this is something that I just think is, it's weird and unusual. 
But basically, the thing was with the old school board that once you'd done something, you couldn't change it because it would say it would show that you made a mistake. And <laughs> it was, I believe, it was honestly the strongest motivator in the school board for two years where we don't want to look like we made a mistake. Because wow. if you change this, it looked like you made a mistake. And mm -hmm. we're in an actuality, if new information comes online, and you should be willing to say, yeah, we made a mistake mm -hmm. here. We, mm -hmm. Let's see mm -hmm. if we can fix this. But the old board, they didn't. But now change is in the making. Now the change is in the making. We'll see. I'm hopeful that we can get the Roosevelt stuff straightened out before it's okay. too late. Okay. So a little briefing on that, because I want to go in another area. That's right there with that, that Voke Ed piece that you're talking about. Roosevelt. Okay. That's there's right another there. piece of that. Yeah, Roosevelt. It's yeah. real interesting, go which on. is the Benson. Okay. Is okay. the Benson. We've, we've, we've had a cap on Benson, the number of people in Benson. Right. And that cap's going to come off. But you got to be careful how it comes off, of course, because if you get too many kids out of this school or that yeah, school, yeah, right, Roosevelt that or Frank, that yeah. causes a problem right, in that school. Right, and right. you can, if you get less kids, then you can't put in the they resources. They got a semi vocate over there still right at, now, right? At, well, Benson has a really great yeah, program. Right, right. And we want to take the cap off. So there were a couple hundred kids who wanted to go to Benson that couldn't right, get in because right. we limited the right, number right. because we're worried about. How many kids are in Roosevelt or how many kids are in Jefferson? Yeah, no, okay. To get too many go to Benson, that weakens those schools. So, but we're 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 talking about taking that cap off, okay. and if they do that, then it's going to be tricky. But that's a big step up. But what the about cap. the African American kids, as far as Volk is concerned? Normally, people think about Jefferson High School aspect of it, and Which I do. Is now I do. Our, the, the, it's now a early college type Yeah, but, but what about those African-American kids that are in this? It, well, it, it's, been said, it's been said that Northeast Portland, if you will, uh, i.e. was the so-called mecca for, for, for black folks, you got me, and black kids. But now I do understand that they're being gentrified now. They're going to Gresham, right? You got me? Lot and then the rest of them that are left are being sort of laid out from the standpoint of going to the institution down in Salem. Uh, you know, they are listed as uh, gang members and things of that nature. And the mayor, I noticed he's kind of increased the, the police force to to, to to compensate for those uh, those irresponsible um, kids and whatever. But what about vocate for those kids? Well, Benson has a lot of African American kids. They do. It. Yeah, and and but and, Jefferson and, is still and, the core of that community. The core, but there's less kids. There's a lot of kids in Roosevelt. Okay. And uh, Roosevelt, and and one of the things we want to do in Roosevelt with this new program is put more. CTE, more STEM, more vocab. Okay, vocab, yeah, yeah. Into, yeah, into, the, the, into, the, uh, into, into Roosevelt. But if they're not space, you can't put it in. Yeah, see? yeah. So but we're why, trying to get it, that space but in But why there. is it that the, the, the board, I mean, I, you understand, but why is it that your your other constituents don't understand the value of vocab? Well, I think, and the enthusiasm I think, to make I think it, you know, have people, the problem? there are people who do, Tom Curler does, okay. and Paul Anthony definitely okay. does. Okay. I haven't talked enough to the other people to yeah. know whether they're on board mm -hmm. on it, but those two people, along with, with me, we understand how, how important that is and critical it is for kids. Mm -hmm. And get that hands-on stuff, get, get mm -hmm. kids engaged yeah, in things, yeah, yeah. And building mean, things, and, yeah. and, and, and yeah, yeah, yeah blue, we understand blue, how blue collar work. Blue-collar yeah, work is important. good work, I mean, that's, that's a good payday, you know, so to speak. And you know, you've got the trades out there that are basically, these guys are retiring, men and women both are retiring and whatever, and are really wanting, if you will, to be, to get in that environment, if you will, and teach and pass on those trades, you know what I'm saying? But the bottom line, they, 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 they you know, well, you know, we went through that once before, you and I, remember? When you first got on the board, we went down to, and visited a couple of the trade entities and whatever, and you mm -hmm. came back to the table, these guys were ready and willing to go. Oh and yeah, whatever. there's a lot of people are willing to go, and the we AGC haven't done. The AGC Associated General Contractor was We've there. talked. A, We've, it's like a lot of things Jeez. that the school board's done in the last couple of years. We've talked a good game about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. We would like to have it, but it's you can talk all the good game you want, but you actually have to do things, That's right. which right. is what I'm hoping new school board right. will do. We'll good. do things, good. not just talk things. Good. Good. For instance, one of the things that I've been trying to get going here now is culturally relevant curriculum mm -hmm. for kids, particularly in the elementary school. Mm -hmm where you've got kids that go to school and they don't know, they're not getting maybe almost no social studies, let alone mm -hmm. culturally relevant mm -hmm. social studies. I mean, talking about the Chinook 
that were the Native Americans that were right here. Mm -hmm. um, we, we need to have that yeah, in the yeah, school. Right, right, uh, right. All the, all the African-American history background, that needs to be in there. Yeah, we need yeah. to have uh, the Latino history. It, all these things need to be in the school, and I'm working really hard trying to get that. I've got everybody on board to do it. The question is, can I find uh, one hundred fifty thousand? Well, you got, just got some. You just got some money. Well, the money, yeah, but the money came out the of the grantors? state. There was new money from the state that came in, but they evidently, as I understand, and I went in and talked to a financial guy, uh, who's pretty good, really, a guy by the name of uh, Yusef Awad. He's a pretty good guy. I like him. He he said they they went we went forty nine fifty one in the state. And so the extra money that we got over to 7.25 billion, mm -hmm. which we went up to 7.4, mm -hmm. which is about 8% ours, mm -hmm. that's not going to come this year. It's going to come next year. So I can set stuff up. But you can up. plan. Yeah, you can set yeah, it up. I can set it up and plan yeah, it. Yeah, but, yeah. But I wanted that money because there's things that need to be done. Right, right. You know, it's interesting that you're going to be basically trying to you're trying to get some of these studies and in, in, in the in the in the, with these kids at the lower age the lower age group and whatever. And uh, what comes to mind just immediately is the whole issue that we just had in in uh, in, in in Charleston. Was it South Carolina? South Carolina with the flag the flag dealing aspect of it. Again, you know the Confederacy thing. thing that's not taught in the schools. That's history. Well, you know the history I mean? we're and not the same thing. With, same thing with it, slavery. It's you know, taught. It's they, taught with good history teachers in the high schools. Well, you said and good, I, but you you, yeah, you, you yeah. said good. Now, good. Uh, good history teachers. should be a standard school. instruction, if you will. There should be. There what, should, what's the deal? Here? There should be. Uh, Lee, for one thing, it's, and I'm not making excuses. I'm no, telling no, you no, the no, realistic no, okay. what's going yeah, on here. Yeah. Why I'm pushing on this history yeah, stuff, right, right. which it's would include important. what you're yeah, talking it's about. Very important. It's a section, uh, yeah. you know. But the, but, the the problem is during this. If you really don't want to have a curriculum that does just specific history. Yeah, right, it's right. not uh, whose history are we going to do? Yours or mine? It should be all. It, American but, history. But, yeah, That's right. what it's called, well, American history. Yes, but, to, <laughs> but you can, I mean, you could teach just, let's say, the, the Civil War right, only right, yeah, right. all year. Right, okay. I mean, right, I see, you okay. got to have, you just okay. can't have a standard, right. but what you need to do is, is say, look, we need to have in our history teaching, particularly in the lower grades mm -hmm. and in the upper grades, mm -hmm. they do it mm -hmm. a little better. But in the particularly in the lower grades, we need to be teaching culturally relevant curriculum. We should, in history, we need to have that in there, and in some other areas too, and but not ed. as much. And as, high ed but, too. But, but for teachers. But, but the in in order to do that, you you have to have the curriculum available. Mm -hmm. And it's got to be easily available because I, I was school teachers, you know, for yeah, 40 yeah, years. Right. And boy, it's hard to do one unit during the school year. You're <laughs> working all day long mm -hmm. on just what you're in for preparation, mm -hmm. grading, all these things, mm -hmm. meetings. And mm -hmm. It's hard to do one unit. Mm -hmm. So you have to make it easy so that you can go get right, the material right. in order to do it. Otherwise, you can't, you're not going to be able to get people to do it. And, and Well, don't you have access and to so, that? Well, don't, yes. What I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to do is get the school district to put right. together right. A, a website, if you want right. to use right. that terminology, where I could then go as a school teacher and I could find, okay, that's, here's some things on the Chinook. Right, right. Here's some things that I can do and teach in my class. Here's some things uh, on on Emmett Till. Right, right, right. Here's right. here's some things. Uh, and that's on, not available to you at this point. Uh, not really. Not I really. That was you can, yeah, you can hunt all over the place for it, but it's not easily available. So if I want to do a unit, I got to go all over the place, do all the research. I want to pull, get someone who's good to pull that together, which makes it easy for our teachers to go get those things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's easy for them. Mm -hmm. Because if it's easy for them, then you tell them, we want you to teach this. Yeah, yeah. We want you to teach culturally relevant curriculum, but if you don't make it easy, you can tell them all you yeah, want. But yeah, uh, yeah. if you make it easy, then you got to say, well, wait a minute. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty easy. You can go get it here. and exactly. then it's Like that. That's exactly. what I'm trying. So the first thing that I tried to do, it's not very expensive, uh, but like I say, the money, they, they, they wouldn't talk about those things with the old board, and they spend all the money. Well, no, you can get some money back now. See, with the audit, you're going to figure out the, <laughs> the audit, the how we're going to find some money. You're going to find some money yeah, with the audit, that's right. right? Now, will yeah. that happen if, if all of a sudden they're, they're overpaid? Well, uh, theoretically, are going to be able to get the money I, back? I, I doubt very much if you're going to you get mean? money well, so back. Why, then, so why are we doing where I audit? think you might get some money back if you wanted to talk about it that way is we're hiring, we got this, do we really need to hire this other central administrator? 
that's a hundred thousand right there. That's that would almost do my own my whole program. Yeah, I, One I, administrator that you didn't hire. Yeah, but I, I understand. But I'm just still saying. The, the, I don't know how the, the audit's going to come out. I don't know how it'll come out. Yeah, the audit. The, but the point, they they put together an audit committee. And right. that means that that you look in there, and if you find they've been overpaid, you take that money, you put it back into yeah. the system. Yes, you would think. Is that, that what we're be, going to be doing? Yeah. You think? Uh, that's what you probably should be doing. I doubt very much if they're going to come up and say they're way overpaid and take money away from them. I doubt it. So why we haven't audit? I think that is, the question's up in the air. Is this? Uh, it's this, up in well, the air. You're not, you're not sure. I'm not sure. Well, we're going to stay on that issue. Though. You sure. Know. Fine, fine, <laughs> by, that me. fine by me. Fine by me. You should stay on that issue. <laughs> we got to stay on that issue. Oh, stay it's, on. it's about the money. You need monies. What it's I, something a very important issue you're talking that, about. Yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we can and get the money. And there's other places. We want that, the money. There's other things that we. There's things that you would can do to get everything, make things right, better. Right, 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 right. But there's things you absolutely need to do. Period. Right, right. And one of those is we have kids come in, and and my philosophy, and you know this, has always been that every kid, we should try and give every kid a decent education. Oh, sure. Every yeah. kid. Yeah, I don't no, care if no they, child if left they came in right. from if they yeah. you know, right. you if they one? came in from <laughs> Syria yesterday, <laughs> and they they speak Farsi. Then that kid should get just as good education as the as you know, the you Lincoln see, High School no, I, junior you know, whose father is. I, I appreciate uh, the Syrian. I'm talking about America. African American kids that are going down to the criminal justice system. Well, that's the same okay. thing. They should yeah, get no, 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 them. no. I'm talking about the ones who are here now who've been here for years, and they've been left behind. See. <laughs> I don't have any problem talking okay, about that, okay, okay. but I do. Yeah, but I, mean, you know, I want to take care. Of, I want to take care of the situation that's here now, that's been overlooked for years. It's here now, and it's been overlooked for years. The that's one right. I'm talking about. The Syrian. The, thing? The, yeah, the people who come in that can't speak any English, and we toss them into classrooms, which takes all time and energy away from the other kids, and expect the teacher to teach the kid in the upper grades who doesn't have any English background, and. It, Draws from everybody. We'll, we'll, we'll have another discussion on that ESL, right? E e English as a second language. That's basically what we're talking about right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, now on that, on in, another, another no, area. No, no, no. You can go to the, the, the next thing if you want, <laughs> which is which is probably closer to your understanding, yeah, yeah. which is how about the disparate disciplinary problems? Yeah, which yeah, is yeah, closer to what yes, you're talking about, about here. You've got where you're suspending mm -hmm. and expelling. More kids of color than you are, are they, white kids and color, Asian kids. Are they African American, African -American kids, black kids, Latinos, and, and Mexicans? Latinos, those, those uh, are the ones. Latinos and, and uh, you don't uh, have Asians in that group for uh, sure. No, Na and, and Native American kids. Native, Native American, American kids are almost the the largest. I mean, not the largest group, but the largest disparity. Well, those, those, those are the purest of America. Well, they get you got I mean, what Jesus. Well, the 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 there's this huge disparity in the discipline. Right. So and what and what are we doing about it? We're scat we're like a scatter gun and we're right, hitting right. shooting here and shooting here. We don't really have a a plan that sits down and and actually addresses it specifically in each school, mm -hmm. which is what I think we need to do. Mm. And well, so every school in my opinion should sit down and redo their disciplinary structure. Hmm. We had three things that all came into play towards the end of the school year here and we had a lot of a lot of problems with discipline mm -hmm. if you want to use mm -hmm. that term mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. working with kids and mm -hmm. behavior, mm -hmm. children's behavior mm -hmm. at the end of the year. Well, if you have all this misbehavior going right. on, right. Right. You can't teach it's, it. it's hard to teach. So how the really how almost the most critical thing in the school system in your classroom is do you have an orderly classroom where you do it right. and the question mm -hmm. is how do you how address do you, it yeah. right and and w it shows that we're not doing a particularly good job because of the disparity dis statistics so what do we do what so do we, what do? i think well i don't know what we're going to do here's what i think we should do okay the uh we need to at the very least sit down in every school at the start of the year and redo and work through the disciplinary structure within that school. So you know what's, if I'm a teacher in that school or parent, I know what's going to happen on everything that takes place. Right. So if we're going to, for instance, if we're going to say, okay, we're not going to suspend kids, mm -hmm. well, which is fine, I'm with that. I've never liked suspension. I don't know why sending the kid home to sit and, mm -hmm. and, and, go on a computer by themselves and look mm -hmm. at porn or, mm -hmm. or play video games all day. Why? Well, I don't see how that's helpful, mm -hmm. frankly. But so if you're not going to do that, what is it you're going to do? And there's a there's a 
there's kind of a, it's not so much a tension, but there's a disagreement on what is it you're going to do. Let's just not suspend any children. Mm. Fine, that's like saying to your own child, you raise kids, and you say, okay, and there are no consequences for your actions. There's only, I'm just going to sit and talk to you about it. Hmm. So your child stays out till 11.30, their curfew's at 10, they come in and you say, hey, you know, you know better than do that. Well, yeah, I know better than that. And you talk to them. And the next night they stay out till 11.45 instead of the 10 o'clock yeah. curfew. And you say, yeah. well, I'm in. And, and you talk to them about it. Mm-hmm. Well, pretty soon you got to say, I guess why you're not taking the car. Yeah, right, or guess right, why you're losing right. your phone. There are some consequences. Well, what we kind of did in the spring, we just threw that open. We said, we don't want to suspend kids. But we didn't lay out, so what are we going to do? Hmm. And it's not just the consequences. It's, it's the same thing on, on kids in a class, uh, kids in a school who are really struggling. Mm-hmm. What are we going to, how are we going to it help them? How are we going, that whole piece, piece, and every school needs to sit down mm-hmm. and carefully go through that with their staff and principal mm-hmm. on the same page mm-hmm. and do it in a, a lot of times our principals have, it, not all of them, a handful of them, have a tendency to be too... Mm-hmm dictatorial would be and, you know, the case. and you know what comes and, and in my so, lead mind is the appeals you, you give them appeal and and you, you know kind of yeah you know, right exactly that, but is but, that still being done well where they give them pills to, to some degree to, yes to, what? but yes it is but the but the other thing that is we have a couple programs that are pretty good one is called pbis and one is called restorative justice and what they're trying to do and uh, is sit down and talk more with the kids and mm-hmm. and say you know when you blow up and call the teacher the f word you sit down and talk with the kid and say, okay, what, what, what's the problem here? It's not really the teacher, same teacher as yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And so that piece is a big piece, but what we're doing is we're putting it into certain schools, not others, and it's expensive, and you ha- it takes a lot of... C- we, we need to come up with something that we can actually use and that will work. Are and you that's gonna, what are you I want to take this away from. Them? That's what. That's what I. That's <laughs> all what that I language want. is right that, here. That's. Well, that's well, are you going to take that away? Well, what, what all I'm do? saying is we need to get on. Everybody, every one of our schools needs to get on the yeah, same okay. page in their own school. Okay, I got you. What they're going to do? What about a committee? Are we going to put a committee together for that? Well, uh, hope, uh, probably. Who's going to do that one? Well, that one might come up to the teaching and learning committee. Oh, okay. Who, who's the head of that one? Uh, yeah, teaching and learning committee. Yeah. Yeah, no, you know, yeah. You can now, notice the chairman out. is Steve Buell. Yeah, you know that right, guy? Exactly. Okay, I like that. We'll I like see. that. What about testing? I mean, we, let, let, where were you know we were talking about that we had this big outfit that came in here. And, no, it's been uh, it's. Are they still it, there? It's really destructive. I tried to get through a. Who? What were we talking about? Te- te- I talking about the SBAC the testing, SBAC. the Smarter Balance testing. Yeah, yeah. And well, I well. tried to get through the last board right at the end the spring. We're going in the spring. We're going to do all this testing. Yeah. I mean, we're spending millions of dollars. We're doing all this testing. We're sh- we're shutting down libraries, shutting down computer labs. Gee. We're we're stressing out kids. We're yeah. testing kids who don't even speak English right. with English tests. We're testing some little fragile second graders that and putting them on the test for several hours and and when they shouldn't i mean it's nuts a lot of the stuff we're doing is nuts so i tried to say we need to look at this we need to have somebody who monitors it because when you go out and talk just talk to people you can't hardly you can't find a superintendent who will come out in the state of oregon haven't found one yet who will come out and say this testing is not really very good wow be- but if you talk to them in the back in uh, their office, they don't, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, this testing's terrible. Yeah, and, and, but nobody will come out. But I wanted to do a, to monitor it. So next spring when we test, we would be able to look and say, okay, how can we keep? Did anybody figure out a system to keep these computer labs? Okay. How? Which kids should we maybe not be testing? Mm-hmm. What's? Did we spend too much time on this? And I wanted to set up and monitor it. But you had to do it in an anonymous way, kind of. You had to do it to sit down wow. with people, and no chance, they couldn't do you know it. What the so we is. have no idea okay. uh, what we did you know or, what the or how to fix it. You know why you know why you're having a problem? Well, it was old people, basically. No, 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 it's the article, follow the money. <laughs> it says, what's fair? Salary's in the cross here. Everybody's looking at salary. I know you're not. You're there to do the job, you know what I'm saying? I'm just being straight with it. But people are looking at their salaries, you know what I mean? Everybody's about that money, you know what I mean? Well, a lot of people, 
are focused sometimes way too sometimes. much on themselves Majority and their own yeah. situation right, 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 right. as opposed to what's good for right. children. And we got about another two or three minutes. Okay. Now, well, okay, now we're getting ready to get the big marijuana post up there. I mean, Earl is... Uh, I don't think we're going to pass Earl's that Earl's in schools Earl's putting it into the school. What are, what are you going to talk about? It's going to be in social media. I mean, people are going to be smoking a joint. Now, what are you going to do about those kids? Uh, are they talking about the possibility of I don't, how are we going to fit this know. marijuana? I don't know. I don't know. We haven't. I I haven't heard one person. That's discuss. big. You know, they're pushing it, that pretty fast. Yeah, what it's if, a good point. I think it's going to be an impact on the school. It's system. a good point. Yeah, that's probably will. They, they should be talking about this. They, stuff. Yeah, it's probably a good point. And you, you know, know you I started you back in the nineteen eighty three. Right. Right. Eighty one. Eighty three. Right. I started the drug and alcohol right. programs right. in the city of well, Portland hey, man, schools. You need to get back and maybe we need to. We need call Earl the Pearl. Call the Earl. Earl Blumenau. Earl the Pearl. You know what? Way, he picked up $100,000 from the marijuana providers, if you will, and a fundraiser, okay? So he's the lead guy. Well, he's the lead guy. Uh, he can get, what about monies from the marijuana, some of that tax money well, from yeah, marijuana? Well, they can send us some money if they want. How about yeah, that? Absolutely. Earl, did you get that piece about the money? You get that piece about the money? Contact this guy right here, Steve Buell, and he'll, send he'll make some sure. Money. Send some money. Send some money. That first hundred thousand dollars you got, show good faith. This is your district. Send it to send it to Steve, and we can help some of those schools. And the there, question right? is now, what do we uh, suppose it shows up at school? Then what? How do we deal with it? That's right. We need to look at that. Okay, but that's something we need yeah, to deal with, right? Yeah, okay. I think so. Hey, we've we've done. Now that you brought it up, we we've done fair. We've done a lot. Okay. Anything? Any lasting word? Anything you want to say? Thanks to the new group. I, I think one of the, the, the problems. I, yeah, and I'm real positive about working with the new people. Okay. Uh, I think one of the things we have to get at too, which Tom Curler's kind of on, which is the principal situation, how we hire principals. Mm -hmm. Now we just go out and ask the community, hey, wh what would you like for a good principal? But they're not involved in the hiring. They don't get to interview mm. no one, no parents, no team mm. staff. We just kind of, and I can't even figure out here in two years. I literally cannot figure out how we move, how we, what we're using to move them around. Wow. I have no idea. That's serious stuff. And, and, and so we go out and, heck, there was a, a school a couple weeks ago, and they had a meet, the community meeting to tell them what they wanted right. in a principal. They'd already hired the principal. We'd Jeez. already hired the principal. Who did that? Well, the people hiring the principals are up at the top. But we'd already done it. And I told them, I said, look, just go out and tell them, man, <laughs> yes. that you hired the principal right, already right. and wouldn't. ask them what you want this principal to do in your school. At least you can save face that way. Uh, another but, response. But we didn't, they didn't do okay, it. Okay, but now we will, right? The, the responsibility well, of the know. teaching and learning committee. The teaching can, learning committee will be looking at the principal. Will you look at that one? And, and we need 360-degree okay, evaluation good, of good, our principals good, good. so we can find those problems good, 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 good. before... Good. before they okay. blossom out okay. and create problems in a school. Steve, again, thank you. And thank you very much for serving, man. I mean, really, I mean, I'm mean, i sure glad you're there because, I mean, I, I, I give you Helps quite a bit of credit. No, 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 I give you quite a bit of credit, you know, for changing this school board because we really need it. We really need it. Our, our kids really need it big time. We need to make some board. changes. We yeah. definitely need to Look changes. at it differently. That's right. I mean, because the bottom wider line, perspective. it's about the kids and that graduation, making sure that they are good Americans, you know, working and this, that, and the other. Lots okay, folks. Well, thank you very much. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be back with our next guest. Take care. You are watching Oregon Voters Digest. This program can be seen again on these channels on these dates and times. Tell a friend. Welcome back, folks. Hey, we got a good hot 15 minutes with uh, with someone that has been very, very much involved in the Portland Public School in the district and all the way. You might recognize his face. He's even been on the show here on a number of occasions. And, and I'm talking about my dear friend, De Bill. Bill, my dear friend, Bill Diz. Okay. 
How do how you doing, Bill? I am great. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Well, look, uh, let's do this before we get into this Planned Parenthood situation. Yes. Yeah, you had the opportunity to hear what Steve. This is kind of an update through district, yeah. and you were you were involved in all that politics before they just basically fired you. Okay, uh, but the bottom line is that uh, uh, give give, can, give give us a little reaction to what you heard, and where and where you think the district was when you lived. Well, sure. I guess one thing he said, I was amazed that there was 170 administrators who don't even work in the school. I didn't have any idea it was that many. That's a lot of money. Yeah, well, it's a lot of money and a lot of people. A lot of people. Right. Um, and I think if other people heard that, they'd probably be concerned. Wow. But I thought his comments on trying to, you know, uh, figure out more where the money's going, that's mm -hmm. always good. We always have to keep an eye on money at mm -hmm. any at any institution, whether private, public, government. Exactly, right, exactly, right. exactly. That's the key. Yes. I mean, that's 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 what I said. What's fair, right. salaries? In, so we can get a lot of that money back, if you will, and put it in, in a more productive fashion, if you right. will. You got me? Mm -hmm. You being a former math teacher, I'm sure you know what the numbers are all about, yes, okay? Yes. And by the way, that guy, is, he's got a bad, I mean, they really, you know, well, that's what, we, that's what we're going to be talking about. We're trying to see how do we get you back into this system. Maybe mm -hmm. you can come back as a superintendent or something well, like that. I'm not that. sure if I want <laughs> that. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, and then that was a piece, of, there was that piece that I gave you that you kind of look at, you know, that little oh, article yes. piece. Yeah, yeah, let me see that little piece. I just wanted to just read sure. this piece right off the bat. And this is a very important piece. I got this out, to, out of the Oregonian uh, this past weekend and uh, talked about Planned Parenthood. It's big. It's huge. It's, it's mm -hmm. right in the midst of the politics right now. Right. Uh, the, uh, both parties are engaged, if you will. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a nonpartisan issue. They're, mm -hmm. they're having meetings, if you will, on this mm -hmm. issue right now as, as we speak. And I'm just going to read just a, just a line here, too. It says, Planned Parenthood responded to the furor over... An undercover video alleging the sale of fetal parts with an explanatory video of its own Thursday and an apology. I thought that was kind of interesting. But um, it says claims about um, programs that help women. And that's what I got when I called you about when I, when I saw this piece. Claims about programs that help women donate fetal tissue for medical research, said Richards. And I'm thinking about when you when we're going through this whole deal with the school district, are uh, you trying to send Planned Parenthood in your class? That's what I thought about when I first saw this article. When I first saw this article, I thought about you right off the bat. That's why you're here. You got me. And 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 now here it is, right here in black and white. You right. got me. Mm -hmm. And trying to basically motivate these young people, if you will, get them in the mindset, if you will, that maybe you know you might make a couple of bucks over here. I, I hate to, I hate to put it this way. It's almost like selling blood. You well, know what I mean? It's even worse than it, that. I'm saying, yeah. Talk. Go on. Um, well, that's it. I don't think people realize just how much money is involved with Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's the old adage of follow the money. Yes. You know, to follow the money. Right. That was in a movie. I remember the fellow would always say, yes. follow the money. Yes. And when um, Planned Parenthood was building their huge center here, at the time they were planning that, it was the largest facility in the country. It ended up being the second or third because some other large facilities were getting built. And uh, you had some businessmen on the PDC board, like Rosenbaum and Will Hyde, Kadra, and Molas, and they just could not say enough about all the money that was involved with it. So people keep looking at the money. Um, we fast forward a little bit. So that was in, you know, 2007, and they finally um, uh, bi built this center and had their grand opening on in 2010. So fast forward just to the next year, and um, uh, in Eugene, Planned Parenthood. Um, built a very huge center, and they had, um, you know, uh, Representative DeFazio there, and Senator Wyden, you know, at their at the groundbreaking. So that just shows, you know, wow. the the inf influence of it. So I think that's one reason why, uh, unfortunately, that Planned Parenthood and their abortions and selling body parts and whatever else they're into mm -hmm. will be around because they have such support, you know, all all the way up. Um, even to the White House, uh, yeah. President Obama mm -hmm. went to their national um, um, convention, convention and just recently his, um, let's see, what was the fellow's name? Um, yes, his, uh, one of his main spokespersons, uh, Josh Ernst, was defending Planned Parenthood here. Wow. So they do get a lot of um, a Fairly lot of funded, support. too. They get a lot of They do, dollars, yeah. Don't um, I don't think a lot of people realize that Planned yeah. Parenthood in their last report, they made over 127 million dollars. They're supposed to be, you know, nonprofit, and their revenue is over a billion dollars, 
and they get uh, half of that from the federal, well, from all the different governments, but they get over 500 million or half a, half a billion dollars from different government grants and contracts. And, you know, right here in, in Portland and in Salem, um, mm -hmm. there was, uh, I think it was either 10 or 20 million that the Planned Parenthoods in the um, Washington and Idaho and Oregon area got to put Planned Parenthood employees in mm -hmm. the schools um, and they're able to get uh, rooms free of charge, then get charged for them, mm -hmm. and they're able to, you know, um, do what Planned Parenthood does, you mm -hmm. know, with, with the children. Well, you know, so, again, that was another thing I, I thought mm -hmm. about you, and then, remember we were trying to fight this whole business about MLK, yes, about yes. building on MLK, yeah. mm -hmm. and then imagine putting something like this on yeah. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Right. And I remember his daughter coming down, you know, and trying niece. to... Niece. It was niece, niece, right? niece, yeah. And then we even said, well, mm -hmm. okay, fine, let's compromise, you're going to do it anyway. Just yeah. don't put it on MLK. Right, that? right. And then I started thinking about, well, gee, wait a minute here. If they're selling these parts and they're trying to get these, these young people, mm -hmm. young women motivated to do this and pay them, if mm -hmm. you will, I thought about poor kids. Yes. I, talk, I, I thought about black kids. Right. You know, Latino kids, you know, mm -hmm. young people, not rich kids. Right. You know, they, they've got their own private doctors that can do those kinds of things. I mean, that's mm -hmm. the way they were doing it before. But this whole thing is just directed, if you will, to poor, poor women. I mean... Uh, well, I think you're right. And, about that. You know, and, and uh, you know, in their program that they have in Salem and Portland, yes. uh, Planned Parenthood gives the children incentives to come yes. to their... Uh, um, wow. To come to their... Uh, uh, their after school activities and and in their classes within in the uh, during the school day. Um, in regards to the recent news, you had mentioned the the body parts, and it's, right. it's key yeah. to it's key that people do know that there's body parts, because on one hand it's it's kind of ironic as Planned Parenthood always talks to uh, someone coming in for abortion. Uh, most of the time they won't show the ladies ultrasound because well, yeah, people right. want to see what their baby looks like. Um, a lot of people don't realize that a heart beats in 18 mm -hmm. days. Okay, mm -hmm. so three weeks from conception, they the heart's showed that. beating. They showed that on and, the team. And uh, the, the director, uh, Dr. De uh, Deborah Nakatola, mm -hmm. a senior director for medical services of Planned Parenthood, in the videos, it, it's very hard to look at, but sometimes, yeah, you know, you just have to, mm -hmm. have to look at the hard things mm -hmm. to know the truth. Sometimes the truth's mm -hmm. not pretty. But um, she's eating salad, sipping wine, talking about how um you know that uh, she uh, you know how sometimes they want the heart sometimes yes. they want yes. the liver oh, depending was, on the day she gets with her staff to say you know you've got to gee you've got to be careful forces. when you're you know tearing apart the baby to save the heart or liver and uh so the ironic part was is that on one hand they they talk about it being tissue yes. you know or like cells but then in in this video that the the medical director at, at Planned Parenthood definitely calls them hearts and livers right. um, you know and and gives them all the names of the or of the organs so um, you know again there's a lot of money in in the body parts mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. um, Planned Parenthood gives millions and millions to um, to to different candidates you know to get help them get mm -hmm. elected mm -hmm. and it's a good payout they give millions and they are able to get back 500 million I don't Gee. no one can get that return of investment so the the head of Planned Parenthood a few years back Cecile Richards in 2012 took off to go door to door to you know uh, campaign for President Obama so again they have connections all all the way up from starting in the school level the state level that's one thing uh, that doesn't come out much but Kate Brown, who was recently, mm -hmm. you know, um, sworn in as governor at the mm -hmm. beginning of the year, she got a hundred percent rating from Planned Parenthood, and they sent out a press release how they were glad that she got in, and and she won a a, a major award from Planned Parenthood. Too. Well, you know, as you were speaking, I was just just for one moment here, you know, what gets me about this, you 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 mentioned these folks like like Wyden and DeFazio and yes. Kate and. And all these 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 well-to-do folks, well yes. heal folks, and whatever. Mm. I wonder if what they have sub subjected their kids, if you will, uh, to orientation with Planned Parenthood about abortion and this, that, and the other. You know that that that's I interesting. Ask the question. See what I'm I, I I would ask them. I know that in. Washington. And I'm asking them. You know, I'm yeah. asking you. Okay, <laughs> I'm asking you. You know, right. I, I, you you said something to me, a guy that mm -hmm. really bothers me, and talking about um, Senator Wyden. 
Yes. I've had him on my shows for a number of years. Right. I thought well respected the seniors and this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. But for him to be to sign off and knowing, knowing I, he's yeah. a solid senator, okay? But mm -hmm. for him to be a part of this, it bothers me. Well, I'm more than just a part of it. I mean, he has a very high rating yeah. well, they from sign the off abortion for industry. Yeah. And he went to their groundbreaking ceremony. I mean, that that's, you know, really putting your, literally and figuratively, it's yeah. putting your foot into it. You got Earl yes. Blumenauer, I mean, you know, you, we're talking about right. the poor name. doesn't relate, if you will, to the mm -hmm. to the poor, as I was talking to Steve right. about voc -ed. They're not interested, if no. you will. You got my point? Right. And now we're talking about the kids. Yes. We're talking about the young women. Right. Okay? We're talking about just, hey, all you have to do is just basically list them as gang members or this, that, and the other, and you can mm -hmm. do with them what, what you want. Right. Interviewing them, maybe interviewing them right there. Oh, well, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to break off. I'm, I'm a little disappointed right now. Yes. We're going to have another show, you and I. Yes. This is okay. just an introduction, okay? Mm -hmm. But I want to make sure we get this point across and let them see who you are. Right. And then maybe, can you give us, we've got about two more minutes, but can you give us an update? Can you do this? Because I know you've got it in, in another situation in terms of where you are. How is the family? And, and how about uh, you still got this lawsuit going uh, yeah the lawsuit's still going okay. on and therefore I can't talk, right, talk right, about right, that right, and, right. and I guess things are well with the family it is so, good right, good I like that right. well I tell you what we're going to do I want to just if you don't mind mm -hmm. I want you to come back and uh, maybe talk with the attorney and have him come with you Okay. And maybe we might be able to just do a good hour show and give the give the folks an update because a lot of people are concerned and wanting to know how you are and how the okay. family is and an update right. to get you back. Okay. You got to get back into the system. Many of those kids miss you mm -hmm. and, and the like, and you were really a service to the community. Well, thank you. When everything was kind of like going the other way, you were still right. there. Uh, mm -hmm. People were marching, and, and me, I mean, it's just on and on and on, and I want to thank you personally. Well, thank you, sir. I mean, the mere fact mm -hmm. that you were out there and the Dr. King thing, you were very sensitive to that piece. You brought folks in, and mm -hmm. uh, but so we want to thank you. Now, we, I think we can we can go the other way now. We, you can stop running that way. Okay. You can run back this way, okay, Good. and we can get Good. those rounds back. So why don't we just say that we tell the people here now mm -hmm. that uh, in a couple of weeks, All sit right. together. Uh, we'll have you here for one hour. Okay. And we'll talk okay. about the whole thing and kind of maybe bring back some points and maybe get an update, if you will, on okay. what's happening in the Senate. And we'll even maybe contact some of those people who are running for office. And well, I think it'd be good. Table. And I, I, you know, you had asked the, uh, you had made a uh, request from the different, you know, U.S. senators and representatives yes, yes. about would they want their kids to be exposed exactly. to all that. And the other thing is, I think they, they should be asked why, why are they they so in favor of Planned Parenthood and everything yes, that Planned yes. Parenthood does. I think that'd be an interesting question. Well, those are the things we're going to be talking about. Okay. okay? So, right. Bill, it's been a pleasure. It's going to well, be great. You. It's going to be right. great working with you again. All right. And we'll okay. get this thing resolved and go the other way, and hopefully Planned Parenthood won't be getting any federal dollars. Okay. All right. Okay, good. Okay. Folks, you hear where I'm coming from? Again, thank you very, very much for being a part of this. And be, be tuned two weeks from today, and Bill and his attorney will be here, and we'll go from that point on. Okay? okay. Take care and have a good one. I'll see you next time around. Take All care. Right. Okay. Down, so yeah. we, we, just keep, we just keep. We just keep.